Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer on Friday the 11th of December. My name is the Reverend Paul Lavender, the Senior Pastor at Mount Pleasant Baptist Church. Thank you for joining me today. I trust that you're well, wherever you may be. And uh, please join me now by buying your heads in prayer as we remember the presence of the Lord with us now. Psalm 58. Do you indeed decree what is right, you gods? Do you judge people fairly? No, in your hearts you devise wrongs. Your hands deal out violence on earth. The wicked go astray from the womb. They err from their birth, speaking lies. They have venom like the venom of a serpent, like the deaf adder that stops its ear so that it does not hear the voice of charmers or the cunning enchanter. O oh God, break their teeth in their mouths. Tear out the fangs of the young lions, O Lord, let them vanish like water that runs away, like grass, let them be trodden down and wither. Let them be like the snail that dissolves into slime, like the untimely birth that never sees the sun. Sooner than your pots can feel the heat of thorns, whether green or ablaze, may he sweep them away. The righteous will rejoice when they see vengeance done. They will bathe their feet in the blood of the wicked. People will say, surely. There is a reward for the righteous. Surely there is a God who judges on the earth. Thanks be to God for his word. Now, let's pray together. Let us all pray. It's today as we come to prayer, we use the words of St. Patrick's breastplate. I bind unto myself today the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one, and one in three. I bind unto myself today the power of God to hold and lead, his eye to watch, his might to stay, his ear to hearken to my need, the wisdom of my gods to teach, his hands to guide, his shields to ward, the word of God to give me speech, his heavenly host to be my guard. Christ be with me, Christ within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger. I bind unto myself today the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one, and one in three, of whom all nature hath creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word. Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Amen. Our Bible reading today is from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter, one, chapter 15, beginning to read at the 20th verse. But Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have died. For since death came through a human being, the resurrection of the dead has also come through a human being. For as all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ. But each in his own order, Christ the firstfruits, then it is coming those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, after he has destroyed every ruler and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. For God has put all things in subjection under his feet. But when it says all things are put in subjection, it is plain that this does not include the one who put all things in subjection under him. When all things are subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who put all things in subjection under him, so that God may be all in all. Thanks be to God for his word. Today we see the inextricable link, the importance of that link between Advent, Christmas, and Easter and the return of Christ. 
The resurrection of Jesus is the ultimate vindication that he was who he said he is. And so reading back, as it were, from what we know that the end of the story, um, we see that Jesus, who came as a baby born in Bethlehem, will come again to judge the living and the dead. Why? Because he is who he says he is and he has done what he said he would do. And his death and his resurrection, his glorious ascension, are all by means of proof of saying, this is our God. This is the one we worship. And so to him we will bow. We can do it by choice now, but one day we will. All knees will bow. Every tongue will confess Jesus is Lord uh, one day. And this is a further proof of the need for us to proclaim in word and in deed, perhaps most importantly in deed, that Jesus reigns over all, that all things belong to him. And so what we seek to do now is to remind all those who have power and authority that they need to acknowledge the rule, the reign, the principles and the authority of God in every aspect of life, be it in justice, for the poor or the marginalised, be it in care for our creation, or be it in acknowledging the need to listen for God's voice and leading in daily living, whatever it may be, Jesus Christ is Lord. And we can choose to acknowledge him now, or one day we will join with everybody and do so. May we do so gladly by choice today. Amen. So let's confess our faith together and we'll use the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Now let's pray together and bring our concerns for the world to the Lord in prayer. Firstly, today we pray for those who suffer with the, the dreadful Alzheimer's disease. And as overnight we've heard of the passing of Barbara Windsor, we pray for all who with her in her latter years of life sought to campaign uh, for greater resources to be made available. And we pray for families who this Christmas uh, will see loved ones slip away, as it were, into the, the fog of dementia. And we pray for more effective care and for advances in science to treat and care for those who are already afflicted. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then we pray for the church in Syria and in particular for those who seek to distribute aid there particularly when seeking to purchase uh, goods and resources, there are uh, obstacles placed in the way, not least as money is transferred from foreign uh, charitable organisations. We pray for protection for the, the team working with open doors for the persecuted church as they face difficulties in transferring money to the work of their fellow partners. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then we thank God for the work of BMS World Mission and pray that as people continue to give during this season of goodwill for the BMS Christmas Appeal, that the generosity of churches and individuals may result in the word of God being spread and many more people's lives being impacted. Lord, in your mercy hear our prayer and 
And then we pray for ourselves now and for those we know and love in a moment of quiet prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We share together in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And so may the God the Lord bless us and make us pure and holy in his sight. May the riches of his glory abound in us. May he instruct us with the word of truth, inform us with the gospel of salvation, and enrich us with his love. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you, and with those whom you love, and with God's people everywhere this day and forevermore. Amen. May the Lord bless you today and keep you safe. Please continue to pray for one another and support one another. And if you're able to pray for me, then I'd be most grateful. Until we meet again tomorrow, goodbye and God bless. <laughs>